New York City's skyscrapers are now working to become more energy efficient. They're lowering carbon emissions while saving money in the process. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has more. 50 floors up, a top one court square begins our tour of this office tower, making New York City history. Refurbished top to bottom. It is among the first under a city mandate to get its cooling and energy systems retooled to be more energy efficient, environmentally friendly, and cost effective. Significant amount of the money was contributed by Con Ed in terms of rebate incentives, and there is this opportunity for every building in New York. So this is a new chiller right here. Down here to the fifth floor where most of the work was done, new high-tech chilling units and systems that can dim power levels in smart automatic ways, reminiscent of what is in some high-tech homes. The energy that we're saving is getting recouped within a one-year period. If you're looking at an aerial view and a thermal scan of the city, the hope would be you go from red down to pink and hopefully blue one day. We're actually monitoring energy on every floor. No more spikes, just level it out. So this Long Island City skyscraper becomes a shining example of what is now possible. Buildings represent 70% of carbon emissions in New York City. If we're using less electricity, the power plant is using less power. If we're using less power, there's less CO2 emissions going in the air that creates climate change. Eliminating wasteful systems or re replacing them with more efficient units helps everyone. So this tower is now, in a single word, cool. In Long Island City, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. The city initiative has set a goal of reducing carbon emissions 80% by the year 2050. That is cool.